Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. So today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you two simple methods of hanging a bear bag. Now I know that there are various names and like definitions to how these two methods are done, but we're gonna go over them real quick. One ties directly to the tree. The other uses a toggle that uh, catches to your bear bag. But essentially, a bear bag is going to consist of four or five main items. So you've got your bag of food, which in this case, uh, this bag is the Kiva Outdoors uh, Great Basin. It's a three liter bag. I've got a lightweight, uh, full strength carabiner in this case uh, from Atolius. I've got a small bag that has uh, got some rocks in it to be able to toss my bear rope uh, over the branch. And I'm using some red paracord just for the purposes of being able to see it really well in this video. Normally I do not use paracord because it catches really easy on branches. And so I use uh, typically like a three mil uh, cord that you could get at like REI or any climbing store. And there's other options out there as well. You just have to ask to see what those are exactly. But let's go ahead and throw the bag of rocks over the branch that we're going to uh, hang the bear bag from and we'll go from there. No. We'll see if this works. <laughs> Once you've got your rock bag thrown over, you can untie that bag from your bear line and you can then tie your uh, food bag to your rope, which you can use any knot that you uh, want. I'm just gonna use an overhand knot in this case. So then once you've got your food bag clipped to your rope, all you're gonna do is pull it up on the branch high enough and far enough away from the tree that it's not touching the tree when you pull it up. But you also want the bag to be, I don't know, eight, 10 feet off the ground. And then at that point, for this first, first method, you're just going to wrap your uh, rope around the tree. And then I typically just tie like a simple like hitch on this with enough wraps around the tree that does a good enough job to hold the bag up in the air and to make it uh, doable. Now the second method of hanging your bag is a little bit more complex, but it's my preferred method. Um, all you're going to do, once you've got your bag hanging, you're going to clip the other end of your bear rope through the carabiner. So you've got your line running through the carabiner and then pull your, your bag up almost to where it's gonna touch the branch. You have to be careful because you don't want uh, the rope to get stuck. I've had that happen before. And then you're gonna take uh, basically just like a stick and I'm gonna tie a clove hitch I'm gonna stick the, the stick through, pull the clove hitch tight, and then the bag is not quite heavy enough right now. I'm going to let the bag come down. So now it's hanging and it's catching on the carabiner eight to 10 feet up off the ground. And that makes it so you don't have to tie your rope to the tree or anything. It hangs nice and free. And if you want, you can coil your bear line up as high as you want. And that's gonna make it so that no critters or anything uh, could scale your rope across the tree. This is probably the best way to do it and uh, my favorite way to hang a bear rope or to hang a bear bag. But then to retrieve your bag at that point, you're just gonna pull it down, pull out your stick, and then you can lower the bag and retrieve. 
So there you go, guys. That is two simple ways to hang a bear bag out in the backcountry. Make sure that you're using uh, regular leave no trace principles in this kind of thing, using the triangle method, hanging your food far enough away from your camp that you're not uh, having to deal with any kind of critters or anything that are right next to uh, your tent and whatnot. So don't ever hang your food right next to your tent and where you're sleeping. Bad idea. So thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. But as always, guys, have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next one.